Scientists are working on the latest in clean energy technology right here in New Mexico. That's right. Los Alamos National Lab is working on getting commercial semi trucks on the roads that are entirely powered by hydrogen. News 13's Jamie Seymour is here with a look at that work. The lab's work with hydrogen dates back to the Cold War and the creation of hydrogen bombs. But now they're using that technology to change the transportation industry. From cars and buses to ferries and boats. Hydrogen fuel cell technology is advancing the transportation industry and researchers at Los Alamos National Lab hope to bring it to the interstates. This is not a just a laboratory research project. You know, this is the whole goal of this project is to get them out there and commercialized. Scientists in the fuel cell program are working with the Department of Energy to create the million mile fuel cell truck, which would power commercial big rigs with eco friendly hydrogen gas. So you get both benefits of getting rid of the pollutive emissions, like the black smoke that comes out of heavy duty trucks, and you also get rid of the, the green acid gas emissions, depending on where your hydrogen comes from. According to the lab, transitioning semis to hydrogen fuel could cut transportation related greenhouse gas emissions by 20% in the U.S. However, the transition faces one big hurdle. Hydrogen fuel stations are much less common than gas stations. Only 44 exist in the U.S., 42 of which are in California. Program manager Rod Borup says the Department of Energy is looking into creating more across the country. Heavy duty trucks primarily stick to the um, interstate system. And so, yes, you need more of a hydrogen infrastructure. If the project is a success, scientists could begin research on other heavy duty transporters like trains. As for air travel, Borup says it'll be a long time before we see this used in modes of transportation like jumbo jets. The U.S. government has funded the Million Mile Fuel Cell Program with the lab through 2025. Back to you. All right, thank you, Jamie. Some of this research is already starting to be used by companies like Nikola and Hyundai, which recently announced plans to test hydrogen fuel cell semis.